Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to be making Valentine's. Matter of fact, we're going to make two Valentine's for the month of giving. You're going to celebrate Valentine's Day by giving your heart. All students will be creating two Valentine hearts in the art class. One will be for the police department and one will be for the nursing home. You are going to drop these off at the school on February 8th, 9th, or 10th in a drop box right outside of the school front door. And while you're at it, if you can bring a food item for the food bank, that would be great. So I want to show you a couple things, okay? I love Valentine's Day and I love hearts. So I don't know if you have any paper doilies. These came from the dollar store. You could probably try to do something with these. These are just a couple of cards that I had with some birds. I like you more than birds say can say instead of words can say birds can say happy valentine's day here's another idea just a grid with a bunch of hearts happy hearts day and hey cupcake you know i love cupcakes wishing you a valentine's day that's simply delicious so we're not even really making a card per se where you open it up and say something you are just going to take a piece of paper I happen to have pink paper. You're gonna fold it in half, and then you're gonna cut that. And all you have to do on one piece of paper is where you're going to make your two cards. Okay, so one card will be one half of the paper, and another card will be the other half. So if you wanted to draw something and write a little something on it, great. Mrs. Coletti would like that the card is kind of double thickness, so it's not just one piece of paper. Maybe you're adding some other things to it, so it's a little thicker. Construction paper is already kind of thick. I'll show you quickly to make a heart. If you fold it in half, okay, and then, there we go, you have a nice heart. I'll show you again. Fold the paper, fold it in half. This is the shape that you're gonna draw. You can just make your cards just by cutting out colored paper, construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, no worries. You can take a piece of paper, you can take a pink crayon or a red crayon, and you can color your paper. Okay, and you can color, press hard. Make it nice and colorful, and nice and bright. You can cut that out. On the back side, you can make that shape of your nice heart. Cut it out. Put it on the back side so nobody will see it. You could arrange your cards. You can also outline around it. You know, I like my black Sharpie markers. So you can be creative just by making a bunch of hearts. Maybe you have one of these doilies. And you need a glue stick, and I hope you have glue sticks. If you don't, it's going to be kind of hard to do it with a regular glue. But you could try Homer's glue. I'm only going to put part of this down. Oops, oh, look at that, it all came through. Kind of nice though. And then I'm gonna do this. Put a couple more hearts. Maybe this one I'm only gonna put down like this. Okay, so it stays up. And you could write Happy Valentine's Day. Make your letters a little fancy. So if you 
Valentine's Day. And your Valentine is about done. I will show you a whole bunch of other samples, but here's just one to start you off. When you are done, you are going to bring your Valentines, like I said, to the school and drop them off February 8th, 9th, and 10th. And you are also, if you can, bring a non-perishable item to, for the food bank. So maybe tuna fish or a box of mac and cheese. Um, whatever you might have would be awesome so that we're paying it forward for the month of giving for February. So happy Valentine's Day a little bit early. And I can't wait to see what you do. Remember, two two cards is what you're making and it's only a front piece it does not have to fold in half actually mrs clay doesn't want it to fold in half so take one piece of paper like i said fold it down the middle cut it up down the center and you make your card here was a couple other cute ideas that you could do and happy valentine's day can't wait to see what you do when you drop it off at school you will be putting it in a plastic baggie so that it stays nice and clean and it doesn't get wet put it in the drop box and then they're going to send them out to the police department and to the Summer Hill Nursing Home. So thank you so much, and I can't wait to see what you do. Boys and girls, I'm going to show you some of the Valentines I made, but I wanted to show you this cute little guy that I found that I made a couple years back. It's a ceramic piece, and I just painted it. So cute ladybug for Valentine's Day is great. These are some of the supplies I used. Just some markers, um, glue stick, some crayons, and some paper. All right, and again, if you have any of these little doilies, that would be great. All right, so here's one. Color, you color my world. Very simple, and it's nice and sturdy, and that's what Miss Claudia would like, that it's something that's a little sturdy, not just a regular piece of notebook paper. So if you have colored paper, please use that. Or like I said, you could color the paper, if you have white paper, and then cut it out, and glue a couple pieces together so it's nice and sturdy, okay? Here's one that I showed you. Happy Valentine's Day. Here's another one that has to do with our little ladybug friend. Happy Valentine's Day, love book. And then here's a cute little llama one that I made, also adorable. And I just did it on plain white paper. I drew and colored, and then I glued it down onto a piece of construction paper just so it's sturdy. Okay, so there you go. Four quick samples that I have. Um, and I will be showing you in the PowerPoint um, a bunch of sayings that you could write on your card. All right, my friends, so happy Valentine's Day.